Well, still with us, uh, Madeline Jones from Oak Tree Capital. Madeline, first of all, I don't know how difficult it is to actually, you know, look at politics day in, day out and figure out what Brexit means to see whether you see any opportunities or you just wait to see what happens and then look at, you know, high-yield investments that you'd like in, here in the country. Yes, I mean, the problem with any of this is that predicting and forecasting uh, it is almost impossible. The outcomes and the way of outcomes is so varied that really making investment decisions around the UK is extremely difficult the same that, that we face as anyone providing capital into the UK a long-term investment in such uncertain environment is very hard to do so whilst we would like to invest in the UK we're taking an extremely cautious approach right now and the same for us with any macro forecasting we don't believe at Oak Tree that people can call these political events or yeah. these dramatic um, economic uh, fundamental shifts consistently right all the time so for us it always goes back to fundamental company health but if you look at fundamental are there companies in the UK mm -hmm. that you'd be willing to look at or that you're looking at but yes. you're just waiting for the macro and you know political uncertainty to, to get yes. away yes yes the, I mean there are investments we do take in the UK and we have investments in our portfolios now in the UK but they are in sectors which we believe are very defensive um, you know the cautious the non-cyclical they especially not exposed to retail consumer uh, we're very worried about that um, so we will make a selective decisions but they have to be extremely robust when you look at you know the, the flip side in Europe so where do you see the most value we were looking and talking about some of I guess the loser companies or the ones mm -hmm. where you don't want to be in but do, do you because you look at company specific mm -hmm. is it special regions or industry right. that you see a pattern with or is it yeah. really you know companies well this year has been a great year for showing exactly why you can't take a top-down view by sector or by geography because yes we see uh, certain areas where you're cyclical, you know, your autos, your industrials, you know, anything exposed to global trade has clearly done quite poorly. But outside of that, if you look at the top 10 underperformers in uh, high yield in Europe over the last 12 months, some of those fit into those categories, but a lot of them don't. It's really idiosyncratic, and you hear that being phrased around the market idiosyncratic risk there's lots of weak performance and investors do not have tolerance for it we're very cautious right now as soon as investors see sign of weakness they are happy to sell those bonds out which creates volatility it creates opportunities yeah. if you're on the other side of that but really is um, going back to the core of credit analysis has to be done individual company by company top down will not protect you from that idiosyncratic risk. Okay, and we'll talk a little bit more about that shortly. Madeline Jones from Oak Tree Capital stays with us.